Hey everybody, it's Julianne from Cary Quilting Company in Cary, North Carolina, and today is Tuesday, January 11th. You're joining me in the back of the store today because we are um, staging for moving into the quilting and fiber arts marketplace on Thursday down in Sanford, North Carolina. Um, for those of you who live in this area, I wanted to um, read to you some of the things that you can find at the quilting and fabric, uh, quilting and fiber arts marketplace. Um, when you come to visit us on um, Friday and Saturday, the uh, market will be open from nine to four both days and takes place in a huge um, Dennis, w Dennis Wicker Center. It's a gigantic place. So um, let me read to you. We have some um, returning vendors and several new vendors this year. So if you've gone to the market in the past, um, you'll want to come back this year to see who's new. So um, first up, we have Capital Sewing Quilt from Cary. They um, are the people that we recommend for machine sales, and then they recommend their customers to us for fabric because we complement each other that way. Um, they're going to be there with Brother and Juki Machines, and they're going to be giving away a Brother free arm sewing machine at 3 o'clock on Saturday. Um, we'll obviously be there. This is going to be um, my... Memories just told me that the first time we did the show was seven years ago, and at that time, my 10-year-old daughter helped me move in. Um, now she's preparing to graduate from high school. Crazy. Um, but we will be there, and this time my mom will be helping me move in. Um, Cotton Quilt from Granite Falls, North Carolina will be there. Um, they also have quilting supplies. Dragonfly Quilt Shop from High Point will be there. Um, they carry a lot of wool and flannel. Then Dusty's Vintage Buttons. Um, they have buttons, old buttons, new buttons, big buttons, little buttons, making a return appearance. Susan Edmonton, Edmondson Designs from Concord will have her special embellishments, thread, um, etc. If you love stitching and funky stuff, you will love Susan. Empty Packets, Alpaca Farm, those are definitely um, some of my buddies at the show. Um, they have alpaca yarns, hats, wonderful, wonderful socks. Can't recommend the socks enough. Um, rovings and wraps. And she and her son have run that in the past. And her son is a delightful young adult. Um, Epicurean Boutique from, oh boy, Occoquan, Virginia. I hope I said that right. Um, they're all about handwork. She has lots of wool threads and patterns. And this is her first time at the show. Featherweight Poppy, also friends of mine. Um, they have um, the older singers and they also service them. So they will have Singer 221 and 222K Featherweight sewing machines. And um, John can service your Featherweight while you shop for $60 plus tax. So if you have a Featherweight and you want to bring it, um, that would be a great time to get it oiled up. Find X Designs from Sanford will be there. Um, they are going to be giving away a FAF sewing machine at 3 o'clock on Friday. Um, Kathy's Patchwork from Falls Church, Virginia will have lots of chenille products. If warm and fuzzy and pretty colors are your thing, then Kathy is your girl. Loving Stitches from Fayetteville will be um, where they normally are with their Bernina sewing machines. Um, and the booth is right when you first walk in the door. And then if you want to find us, you'll walk to the right. Um, Martelli from Florida, they have great mats. They're actually the cutting mats that we use here in the store. And um, they also have tables that tilt. It's, it's a really interesting um, and innovative system for cutting and um, using your rotary mat and dies. Pat's Sacks of Titusville from Cocoa, Florida will have feed sacks from the 1920s and 30s. Um, she will have other vintage fabrics and gift items, and she's a brand new vendor, so I'm excited to see her. Quilt Patch Fabrics from Stallings, Virginia will have all sorts of quilt shop goodies. Um, Quilters Gallery is always up on the stage. I'm sorry, not on the stage. No, not on the stage. Um, they were going to have their fabric packs and their fabric pizzas, which is really fun. They build it on a circular um, pizza, like a rectangle, or um, what do you call those things? <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like a round cardboard that they build um, a fabric pizza on. I don't know. You'll have to come see it to understand it. <laughs> um, Quilts Like Crazy from Wake Forest will be there with all her quilt shop goodies, and it's going to be her first time at this show. Quilt Tricks from Carrie is um, one of our friends here in town, and she's going to have her little quilted trios and her woolies and patterns. Um, Rabbit Patch Baskets from Pittsburgh is a new vendor, and she will have hand-woven baskets for all occasions. 
Ruby ribbon from Holly Springs will have shapewear that is comfortable and fits, so you can actually shop for clothes while you're there. Schoolhouse quilts is the one that's up on the stage. Shay and Sean will be there with books, fabrics, and every notion you've ever wanted. Um, Lori and I visited Schoolhouse quilts um, when we went on our um, shop hop, uh, the part of the North Carolina shop hop a couple months ago, and they do have every notion in the book. So that's very handy if you're looking for something very specific. Um, so there are quilts and more from Angier will be there with Janome sewing machines and she's giving away a Janome serger at two o'clock on Friday. Jan Shore Designs from York, South Carolina will have fabrics from Jim Shore and Jan Shore and they are new vendors. Studio Stitch Greensboro will be there. Um, Twin Birch and Teasel from Siler City will have their handcrafted birch fiber art tools hand-woven fair trade baskets, yarns, and wearable arts. Um, and then You Can Quilt from Raleigh is a really cool idea. They have pre-measured quilts that they sell in pink cans. So you get a little pink can kit. It's very adorable. And they're also um, good friends of ours because we usually are staying close to each other um, in the little vendor strip. And then Whatever's Quilted from Wake Forest will have handy quilter long arm machines and supplies to play with. Um, and this is going to be her first time at the show. And then wood quilt blocks from Manassas, Virginia. Um, Thomas, he always has beautiful, beautiful things. And he's always a very fun, um, very calm, low-key person to hang out with if you need a little quiet time at the show. So there are tons of door prizes. There are early bird prizes if you get there between 9 and 10. Um, every single shop and vendor booth is going to have a deal just for the show. Um, this is a little bit of what we set up. These are all of our new fat quarter boxes made for us by um, JNS Woodworking, which makes our pin bowls at the front of the store. Um, so we are very excited to be moving in on Thursday and vending for you on Friday and Saturday. So please plan to come and see us. That's what I have for today. I hope that you'll join us again tomorrow as we hopefully will have new fabric in to show you. Have a great afternoon. Bye.